Hey, Yankees fans and loyal subscribers of NYYNews.com, I am monitoring the Orioles Fan Fest that is taking place or has took place in Baltimore, Maryland. Buck Showalter was quoted in saying that he's going to move Manny Machado, the shortstop, to begin the season with. But don't take that being as Manny Machado will remain an Oriole. Here is something else. Uh, Scope said he missed out on the fan fest because his agent told him so. I guess he's going through a arbitration battle. Dan Duquette, the GM of the Orioles, who is not Jet Bush. I swear, Dan Duquette is not Jet Bush, and he's not weak on trade. Well, who knows? Maybe he is Jet Bush. He's been weak on trade. Who knows? So, Dan Duquette, the GM of the Orioles, said he was highly disappointed in Manny Machado not showing. You had a whole bunch of people that had bought tickets for the event and canceled once they heard Manny Machado wasn't attending. So, what does this mean? This means that Manny Machado was obviously disgruntled with the Orioles. I mean, I mean, when you're a good player and considered the franchise player and you know that your team is not going anywhere this up-and-coming season, of course you're going to be disgruntled. I mean, what are you going to do? You're going to play your heart out and not win? Just as John Carlo Stanton did with the Marlins. He had an MVP year. He didn't go anywhere. So, again, Buck Showalter saying that he's going to move Manny Machado from third to shortstop does not mean he's going to remain an Oriole. If you ask me, pay attention to these coming days, you will see Manny Machado become more disgruntled like a Christian Yelich, and you're going to see the Orioles ship him out. To what team? Who knows? If the Yankees are patient enough and wait this stuff out you might see a deal go down with the O's and the Yankees but this is bad news for Todd Frazier if the Yankees wait on this third baseman market they are having obviously Andahar as a backup to start third base so they're not that desperate for third baseman but if word keeps getting out that Manny Machado is disgruntled that's just bad news for uh, Todd Frazier who by now if the Yankees wanted to sign him they would have signed him a long time ago and they would have signed them with the contract that Todd Frazier was asking for. Obviously, he's not budging. The Yankees are not budging. So he'd just rather, if, in my opinion, if he's a good businessman, just take the deal with the Mets because next year, next free agency is just going to be insane. If you thought this free agency was slow, next year's free agency, people are going to spend. But but let's say players like a Todd Frazier, he's just going to get another one-year or two-year contract again because obviously there's going to be a load of free agents big names so Todd Frazier is just going to be a little mini little little weeny weeny tiny fish in a big pond of bigger fish so if he's a smart businessman just go to the New York Mets I mean they're probably going to offer him a better contract than the Yankees and he's going to be close to home obviously so there you have it Manny Machado is becoming more disgruntled being an Oriole expect him to be shipped out I don't see him remaining and oh, till the deadline. I mean, when you know your team is going to suck and not go anywhere, does that give you motivation to be a good player? Who knows? Who knows if he doesn't have a good year or not? And his value might come down if he has a subpar year. So the Orioles were smart if Dan Duquette, who is not Jeff Bush, I swear he's not Jeff Bush, if Dan isn't a cuck to Peter Angelo's, he will ship out Manny Machado. Will he be a Yankee? Who knows? So there you have it. This has been a quick update about the Oreos and the Manny Machado situation. Like I said, it's obvious he's becoming more disgruntled. So this has been Felix from MYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. And also Jacoby Ellsbury, again, will not remain a Yankee for 2018.